Israel has begun dividing East Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque compound by creating a prayer space for Jewish worshippers, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the OIC, warned Wednesday. The OIC representative also warned of the dangers posed by Israeli excavations that are reportedly being carried out under the holy sites. In light of these excavations, Al Rawadi said, we fear the Al-Aqsa Mosque could collapse in the event of a natural or artificial earthquake. Now, of course, this mosque stands atop the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, where the Jews want to rebuild that temple. This is the temple that the Antichrist world leader will enter and desecrate. Now this article got my attention because it mentions the Al-Aqsa Mosque could collapse in the event of a natural or artificial earthquake. Now I can identify tonight two very important things that the United States has to do for Israel. There are many more, but there's no need to do more than simply two. In order for Israel to succeed the United States as a ruling state in the world, not only must the U.S. economy collapse and the U.S. dollar collapse, and when the U.S. dollar collapses, it brings down the whole world of paper money with it. And if you don't believe me, just wait. Just wait. Not only must the United States collapse its economy and its money, but in addition, Israel has to wage a big war, which even non-Muslim political analysts are now anticipating. <laughs> uh -huh. A big war. Even Jews now within Israel, I'm getting emails, even Jews within Israel, Jewish academics, they are now understanding that there's something big about to happen. And they're warning the world about it. Of course, it's too late now. Israel has to wage this big war, which is already planned long ago. And the territory of the state of Israel will dramatically expand. And the Palestinian problem will be solved because they'll be exported out. That is the massive human rights crime that the Israeli academics are now anticipating and warning the world about. But in addition, in order for Israel to become the ruling state in the world, not only must she take control of all of this territory, she must also control the oil of the Middle East. Saudi oil, Iraqi oil, Kuwaiti oil, Gulf oil. But I don't see Israel taking Iranian oil. No. And you'd want to ask me why. Yes, you'd want to ask me why. In the question and answer session, not now. Now that's going to be a very, very important event in world affairs. If Israel takes control of this oil, Israel will have her hands on the throat of the world. Not so much Britain and the United States, because Britain has North Sea oil. The United States has a lot of oil sufficient to meet its domestic, domestic consumption. And so who is going to have Israel at their throats? The answer, Europe, Japan, and the rest of the world dependent upon Middle East oil, but particularly Europe and Japan. Which is why at this moment you will notice a lot of strange noises coming out of Europe in hostility to the United States. Because the Europeans are beginning to open their eyes and now beginning to slowly understand what we knew all along. Yes. Will those in favor of the draft resolution contained in document S-2017-1060 please raise their hand. Thank you. 
there's a against. Thank you. 14 votes in favour, one vote against. The draft resolution has not been adopted owing to the negative vote of a permanent member of the Council.